How far will a stone starting from rest fall freely in four seconds? Okay, let's start off by drawing a picture. So here's my stone and it's gonna fall down and it's gonna get about this far. So let's say that this is Y initial where it starts and this is Y final and I need to pick a coordinate system of some kind. So I'm gonna say that Y initial is equal to zero. And since Y final is below that, that means that Y final, the final position, is gonna be negative. Now we can make our chart of all the variables that we know for the problem. So I have delta Y, that's the change in position, and I'm using Y instead of X because we're in the vertical direction. And then I have V initial, that's the initial speed. I have V final, that's the final speed. I have A, that's the acceleration, and then I have T, that's the time. So let's read the problem again and fill in the chart. How far will a stone starting from rest, okay, starting from rest, that tells me that VI, the initial speed, must be zero. Okay, starting from rest, fall freely. Okay, fall freely, that means that the acceleration must be negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And then I have a time in four seconds. Since the problem is asking me for a distance, it says how far, I don't know anything about the final speed and I don't really care to know anything about the final speed. So now I can look at my three kinematics equations for constant acceleration and I want something that doesn't have V final in it. So it looks like the top equation is the one I'm gonna to wanna to use. Now it's already solved for delta Y, so that's good. And I see that V initial, the initial speed is zero, so that first term is gonna go away. And I just have one half AT squared. And I'm ready to plug in. One half times A, that's negative 9.81 meters per second squared, times T squared, that's four seconds squared. Type it into a calculator and you get negative 78 meters. Now remember, Y final was negative and delta Y is Y final minus Y initial and I set Y initial equal to zero on my coordinate system. So it makes sense that I have a negative answer here. This means that the stone fell 78 meters.